Okay, today I'm going to be talking about how to uh, fix the insufficient uh, uh, storage uh, available error message. Now let's say you want to download some uh, interesting game or something, some application. We'll go to Google Play Store and uh, oh, here's Pokemon Go. I've been hearing great things about that. Let's let's uh, let's try to install it. And so uh, we'll accept, and it will. It only takes 58 megabytes of memory, and so it, it loads it up. Everything's looking great. 86, 93, 100 percent. Great, we got it. Or did we? Can't install app. Insufficient storage available. Well, that's interesting. Well, let's uh, let's go check our our memory and see see, uh, see how much memory we have available. So we'll go to apps, settings, storage, and uh, it seems like we should have 333 megabytes of memory available, which should be plenty plenty of memory to download a 56 megabyte uh, application but uh, for some reason we don't seem to be able to so how are we going to fix this problem okay we'll try uh, we're in the uh, internal storage and we will try to clear out the downloads Here we go. We'll check on all these after we hit the trash and delete. Okay, so let's assume that you went through and you deleted all the applications that you didn't want and you got rid of all the photos, you backed them up on your computer or whatever and your videos and you cleared out all, all this unnecessary memory things and you're still not able to install your applications because you have an insufficient uh, storage pro, uh, error message coming up. <clears throat> so the final thing you can do, and, and you looked you looked at your memory, and, it, and there should be enough memory there. So uh, it could be uh, due to the cache. Now what cache is, is a kind of a temporary memory, like a, a notepad type of thing that the uh, different programs will use to write, write temporary stuff. And uh, it can get filled up. It can actually store, uh, take up quite a bit of storage and you can go in and uh, manually <clears throat> manually remove those. So what we need to do is we're going to go into apps and then we're going to go into uh, settings and uh, <clears throat> and so we'll go into applications under settings and uh, we have a, a list of uh, all of our programs that we like to run here. And so let's click on the first one, Chrome. And uh, you see there's a bunch of different options. And sorry. So you, you scroll down a little bit, and uh, there's an option here that says Clear Cache. So if you click on that, it clears it out. And so then you clear the cache from that one. So now you can click on the App Info back arrow, go to the next one and we can clear the cache there drive go down clear cache <coughs> flashlight this probably doesn't have anything clear cache okay here's another way you can uh, clear up some more storage on your uh, on your uh, phone you can go down through the apps and uh, just click on all of them and if, if they say uh, move to SD card then that will move your app from inside the phone to a uh, external SD card and then that will free up uh, the precious memory inside your phone to uh, to allow you to install programs that can only be installed in that that type of memory okay so it looks like we're able to move that program over to the 
the uh, phone and we can continue on down through to check other programs to see if it's possible to uh, move them like Skype can be also moved over to the SD card okay, so it looks like that was also successful so we can continue on down through the uh, applications to see what else we can move okay and this is how you um, clear the cache go into applications settings uh, storage and then if we look down it will tell you how much free you have 100, 418 megabytes free we'll go down to cache and cache is a uh, kind of like a uh, scratch pad for programs where they they just write extra stuff that's just temporary and you can get rid of it because the programs just write that every time and they don't clear it themselves and so we can clear the cache and that cleared up 2.7 megabytes of data okay and so that's how you clear the cache go back Okay, yay, finally success. We're able to install the Pokemon Go after clearing up all the memory. Thanks for watching.